my 2020 7 by 14 by 7 foot enclosed trailer mobile workshop. This is my long storage. Just a 6 foot long drawer. Broom, shovel, paper, rake, sledgehammers, miscellaneous stuff for now. This space is for the ramp. I have a couple of tents. I have a 10 by 15, a 10 by 10. I have my miter saw cut table. And I slide my miter saw on that on a set of horses. I have a couple of DeWalt miter stands. The Ron Polk table. It's two 18 inch by three foot, I mean uh, seven foot long tables that bolt together and make one table, three foot by seven foot. Level storage. Then I have my shoreline right here. Usually it goes through the floor. I put it through this hole. When it's not in use, closes it off. The airline and the extension cord will fit through the hole. This is an eight foot long drawer. I keep zip holes, paper, and plastic in this, and the parts to the zip holes. It all fits in there. And this is just scrap material, leftover pieces up to nine foot long. I have my table saw, battery operated. Slides out. It's connected to the uh, dust extractor with a gate valve. And the gate valve to the dust extractor. Pretty simple. Slides right back in. And this pin just keeps it from sliding while we're driving. Uh, this bank of drawers is not really finalized yet, but some of it's organized to some degree. Some of it's not. <laughs> um, mechanics tools kit, tool kit, some grab and go tools, uh, miter saw, it's just on a couple of hooks stays right there. Trash bags, paper towels, first aid kit. Um, this is a power connector for a DeWalt battery, power adapter. Um, that runs just these lights underneath here. So at night, if I'm not connected to anything, I can actually get come in and have a little bit of light. Um, there's also one of those at the back door, which does smaller the strip lighting around this is 120 volt this is pl we're plugged into shore power right now um, we have a microwave pencil sharpener and then miscellaneous cleaning supplies and stuff right now that's not fully organized yet um, chop saw which is also has its own gate valve and which is connected to the Festool CT26, I think, um, which is also. Um, this stuff right here is in the aisle. I'm actually gonna back it up first. This is the only stuff that I ever have to take out of here. Um, I do work around it. tool copies. I keep my track saw tracks, the 55 inch tracks I think they are. I keep, I have three of them up there, two of them joined together and make a long track and then I have the, the single track of cross cutting. 
um, with the intentions of getting the longer track I'm going to mount it on the ceiling. Um, I keep some clamps, walking guns, fan, um, I have a backpack vacuum over there, my wet saw, TV, necessary, <laughs> um, a spare table saw, corded, that goes outside, my compressors underneath. These drawers are somewhat organized. Um, this is just, this one's not. Uh, but I keep all my drill bits in here. They're all labeled. And snips and roof. That one's, that drill's getting remade. Uh, this is, that one's not, this isn't either. It's just kind of slammed together. Out of it. Clamps. Radio. The radio in the drawer. I never take it out. And more routers. This was heavy. It's all big routers. Um, this stuff here is just kind of spillover stuff, like bucket of shims and my tile supplies. Um, just random things, my electrical bag, that's just a drawer full of more tile stuff and painting stuff. Um, Alright, now we're at my door. I wanted to have the side door, so I came up with this. This opens up all the way, but it also is all my hardware. So, just Take it right out and you got what you want. And it's just, that just keeps the hardware from coming out. <laughs> While we're moving. I use these small spools. I have three footers, a couple four footers, a five footer. I have my baker staging in here, small, very small baker staging. Um, another bench, some gloves, and a vacuum cleaner, small battery vacuum cleaner. Then this saw horses. These actually things actually roll out and put them in a trash bag it makes a bag of you know, a barrel into a bag or out of a bag and I keep my DeWalt benches down here everything fits in there nice pretty easily accessible from the side door this opens from either direction from this side or that side you're never stuck you don't have to come around I have a the uh, DeWalt portable power station. So if we weren't plugged into shore power, we could plug this into that with batteries and still have lighting and power to everything. Um, my charges are all set up on the wall right here. Can you get a picture of that close in? These are all my charges. Then. This is my, all my batteries. They're on clips. They just snap in. Just got them right off of Amazon. This will change. This is going to change. There'll be doors on this. And I'm not sure if I'm going to put doors or make that into drawers. Because um, this cabinet this winter will be heated. I got um, basically a lizard mat that I'm going to put on the wall of it to keep it from freezing. So this stuff here, this is just like handbooks and manuals and whatnot. Um, my my port cable pocket jig, uh, fasteners, finish nails, my track saw. Um, oh, this is something right here I need to show you. These are trays that pull out. 
and I just routed a little spot in so if I had screws or drill bits or something, they wouldn't roll off when I was working. Um, but it's nice to have the bench. Uh, this is just clamps. But I keep fasteners back there as well. So it snaps right in to the other Makita box. And it stays right there. This is under construction, we're not sure about that yet. That's just sandpaper, plumbing and electrical stuff. Not organized, it's just thrown in there. Um, how I chose to keep my extension cords and hoses. Um, I kind of made these. That's my uh, Foreman pocket, pocket screw machine. And then I keep my pocket screws, all my pocket screws up here. Um, these are just bags for carrying tools in and out. Those are all clamps for the foreman. Uh, these just lay up here. They just pop right out. This just pops right off. Nothing is tied down. The only thing tied down is the cart. I keep all my drop cloths up top. Um, there's also a hinge j template jig up there. Um, my chop saw that I use outside the trailer. Uh, nice tray so when I'm working, if I'm ripping something down, I have somewhere to place things that I ripped down. And I believe that's it. Um, oh, I have the lighting back here for the rest of the trailer. For the other lights, they're on a battery as well. So there's plenty of light oh, and that's all on a 20 volt battery. And that's it. Thanks for watching.